Hey everybody. I don't know if you could see me or not. I'm in a different room filming. So if you can let me know if you could see me or if you could just see the board. Hi, Yolanda. Thank you for coming. We're going to wait just about a minute to see if anybody else wants to get on before I start. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start real quick. Um, I wanted to do a short video. I've had a lot of questions about, I'm pretty sure the, the way you pronounce it is plastique. And people have been having some questions on, can they use their credit card? Can they not use their credit card? Plastique has changed a little bit. They're, um, they used to charge 2.5% one-time fee to use it. Now it's up to 2.85% but I'm gonna show you how it's still probably the best way to pay your, you know, to pay off something or to use your chunking method or your lump sum in velocity banking because the savings is still way higher than what the one-time fee is gonna cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I am gonna be looking down every once in a while just to see the comments. If everybody can let me know if you can actually hear me, just say yes, thumbs up, that'd be great. Hi, Brenda. And I know I'm not gonna get this name right. Is it Nayar? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. So, like I said, Plastique is just a payment processing that's gonna make your payments for you when you use your credit card. It's typically used for a whole bunch of different things. So, as I said before, I'm gonna move out of the way here so you can see the board. I'll give everybody a second so I can move out of the way. They take MasterCard, Visa, Discover, and American Express. They do charge it right now. They charge a 2.85% one-time fee to use their services. I, I could probably, I can't guarantee you, but it was a 2.5% before the pandemic. And I know a lot of people have been using their credit cards to pay their bills until you know, either they went back to work or they're back to work or maybe they're not back to work yet. Um, so I do see this fee either staying the same or, or going back to 2.5%. So we're just gonna go through real quick. This, this is just a short list. I'm going to put a link after the live of um, the most current of what you can pay MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. There's certain things that you can use these on, like the, for example, just for example, Mortgage, rent, tax bill, student loans, tuition. These are typically things that you have to pay with your debit card or you have to, excuse me, your checking account or like an ACH or you actually have to physically write them a check. So um, this is just another way to make these payments to either get cash back on your cards, to meet certain points on your cards, or actually just to save interest payments. And I'll show you that in the next board. So mortgage, rent, tax bill, student loans, tuition, any business expense, 
car leases and loans, um, club memberships, collection agencies, insurance, utilities, and like I said, I'll, I'll provide a link at the end of the, um, the video. I'm going to look at the comments real quick just to make sure everybody's hearing me okay, and I'm not going too fast. Okay, seems like everybody's going fine. So I'm going to give you just a few examples of the most bills that um, are actually the highest bills that we would like to use our credit card to pay, but we can't because they don't accept credit cards. Or like, for example, some people, they have a rent payment and their payment might be $1,000, but they accept credit cards, but they're going to charge you like 3.9% to use your credit card. Well, this is another method you can pay your rent with. You can use your credit card to pay your rent and it's still going to charge you 2.85. And what I suggest is give it eight days. So the way Plastique works is you call them up, you set up an account, you say, I want to pay uh, Jimmy John property management and my rent is due on this date. And, and you give them all the information, all your information, you give them your credit card information. And my suggestion, if your rent is due on the first, don't wait till the 28th or 29th to pay it. Pay it, you know, eight days before that so it actually gets it time to post. Because if they don't accept a wire transfer from Plastique, they have to actually physically send out a check just like you would be sending a check to them. The only good thing about it is you use your credit card to pay it. So just as some examples here, you could pay your rent. You can use all these cards to pay your rent. Utilities, you can use all these cards to pay your utilities. Mortgages, though. Mortgages and car loans and student loans, you can use Discover and MasterCard. They are not accepting Visa and American Express. They just stopped accepting visas not too long ago. So that might change because they are in talks with Visa to change that back. But right now, um, mortgages... Student loans and car loans all have to be paid with either a MasterCard or Discover. Um, a good suggestion I can let you guys know is some credit card companies, I know Navy Federal, um, PenFed, Alliant, there's a few other credit unions out there that will literally, when you call them, you can ask them saying, is there any way I can do a product switch or a product change? And they'll change your visa you know, you're, they'll change your visa to a MasterCard. Nothing else changes. Your number, of course, will change, but you're going to change from a, a visa to a MasterCard. It doesn't take much to call them and ask them and say, hey, I have, you know, a visa and I notice, you know, and you don't have to say plastic. You can just say, I notice some of, of my bills do not accept visa payments, but they accept MasterCard payments. Just like, I don't know if you guys shop at Sam's or Costco, I can only use my Visa at Costco. I can't even use my MasterCard. So um, that's a good idea that you can go and ask your, your credit card provider if they would switch the product for you. If in fact, you know, say a month down the road, they're still not accepting Visa and you really wanna pay either your mortgage, your student loan or your car loan with your Visa. So just a quick tip there. If you have any questions or anything, you can leave them below. And then, um, let me see here. I'm going to give you a second and just look at the board real quick. I'm going to give everybody just a, a couple seconds to look at the board. I'm going to take a drink really quick. Just of water, though. I want to make sure I'm still on here because I'm looking at my tablet and I don't see actually the video. I just got a comment that we're all good to go and Myra, I noticed in the comments, said that she just did the product change. If you don't mind can you put in there exactly who your credit card company is with so everybody can know on the live how you did that, pro not how you did it, just 
what company is it? Is it Chase? Is it Citibank? Is it Navy Federal? Is it PenFed? Is it a different credit union? Um, Capital One? If you actually, I'm sorry, not Capital One, but if you can just let us know exactly what company you call to do that product change from the Visa to the MasterCard. <laughs> Tanisha, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, so I think I've given everybody enough time. I'm going to actually take a screenshot of this, so I'll post it as well in the comment section so you guys can look back. I mean, you could take a screenshot as well, but I will definitely take a screenshot. So does anybody have any questions here? I'm going to take about a minute and get some questions. So um, again, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, on the tax bill, people, you know, federal taxes, um, state taxes, I owe state taxes, and I'm in a payment arrangement with them. So I actually pay my bill actually with my credit card as well. So, um, so please let me know if you have any questions just about this screen alone. Nothing else at this time, just this screen alone. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Mike. Hey, Tammy. Thanks for being here. Okay, Myra just answered and she said she has Navy Federal. So that means she actually called and she has a visa with Navy Federal. And I'm only going to assume this, but she probably has one of these bills that takes Discover or MasterCard and doesn't take visa. And she asked for a product change. Can you let us know, Myra? Exactly, and I'm hoping I'm saying the name correctly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Myra, but can you let us know how long did they tell you before they're going to give you your card, or did they already give you the number so you can go ahead and start using the card? If you can let us know that in the comment section, that'd be great. Okay, so my Facebook on my tablet just stopped, but I should be able to come back and look at it real quick. So if anybody has any questions really quick about the board, just let me know really quick. I'm going to try to get to the next board here in just a second. Hey, Norman, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody that's on live. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, please like and share and all that. Do that if you want. I'm not really out for likes and shares, but if you want to and you think this is informational, it might help somebody on your newsfeed or somebody in your family or a friend or anything, or maybe they might know somebody, please share and like. And I'm actually going to be posting this on um, my YouTube channel as well. And people have been asking what the YouTube channel is. Um, it's just Chrissy Conkle. It's just my name, Chrissy Conkle. Um, so anyway. Okay. Okay. So it says um, you have to make it shareable. Okay. I have to make it shareable or you have to make it shareable while you're on the live? Nikki, I, I, I'm hoping... I'm hoping I haven't done anything wrong, but just let me know. I know I'm still live, but I need to make it shareable so you can share it. Myra, thank you for answering that. So Myra just answered that she went from a Visa to a MasterCard with Navy Federal so she can make some of these other bills and they gave her a digital card number so she can use it right now instead of waiting for it in the mail. So that is great to know. I would definitely put that in my notes. Thank you so much. Okay, Keisha. So I, I, I'm, I'm guessing since it's on live, you guys can hit the share button and then I think maybe it might go on your news feed. I am not 100% sure. So if somebody knows that answer, please um, answer everybody for that. So I'm going to go ahead and 
change screens really quick. So here's what I've done is this is what Plastic is about. And then I'm going to show you how in Velocity Banking, we can use Plastic to pay off a car loan. So give me one second. I'm just going to switch screens really quick. And let me know if you can see the whole screen because I just put it back up there, a different screen. Kelly, you just asked a question. Um, I was talking that mortgages, student loans, and car loans, Plastique has changed where they're not accepting Visa for those payments. So yes, if you're wanting to pay any of those three types of loans, some credit card companies are allowing product transfer, product, excuse me, switches or product changes where you can change from a Visa to a MasterCard. That way you can pay those bills with through Plastique or pay them off through Plastique by using your MasterCard now instead of a Visa. I hope that answered your question. So I'm going to leave this board up here really quick. I'm going to step back. Please let me know if you can see the whole entire board. I'm going to give everybody a second or two, maybe 30 seconds just to look at the board. That way you can kind of read it really quick before I actually go right into it because I do tend to talk a little fast. So please slow me down. If you say, hey, Chrissy, I'm not understanding, slow down. I will definitely slow down. So I'm going to leave this up here and let you guys look at it really quick. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a screenshot of both of the boards and I'm going to put them in the comments section after the live is over. So if you don't, if you don't have time to take notes or anything, don't worry. I'll go ahead and take um, screenshots for everybody. So I think that's plenty of time. Um, here we go. So here's an example of using Plastique to pay off a car loan. And remember, it has to be a MasterCard or a Discover. Right now, Plastique hasn't changed it back yet. So this is a MasterCard, <clears throat> excuse me. And the example is, it's a car loan. They owe $9,000 on the car to pay it off. They pay $352 a month in payments. They have 34 months left. That means if they were to pay every single month for 34 months, they'd pay a total of $11,968 if they just keep paying every single month. Okay, here's what we're going to do. And here's where Velocity Banking comes into play using Plastique. So they have a credit card and MasterCard. It's got a $14,000 limit. It's got a 2% cash back. And it's at zero months, excuse me, 0% for 12 months. And then after 12 months, it goes to 5.9%. Now, mind you, not everybody has this type of credit card. I don't have any 0% anymore. I did when I originally started, but I don't now. But say, say, this was at, say this wasn't 0% and it was at 5.9%, you're still going to save money interest-wise. It's just not going to save as much. So I'm going to show you this is just, like I said, people keep calling and saying, oh, I don't have a 0%, I don't have a 0%. That's okay because credit cards, again, are simple interest and they are accrued daily when car loans, mortgages, um, student loans, tax bills, all those loans are actually amortized, meaning that the interest is all on the front end part of the loan. So um, just to, and you can revert back if you scroll down through the, um, our group, I've put, I've um, actually put a post up there of the difference between simple versus amortized. So here's an example then. So they owe $9,000 on the car loan. So the cost to use plastic, because there is going to be a cost, it's 2.85% one time. So the one-time fee is going to be $256.50 to pay this $9,000 car loan off. So, but 
Remember, this card gets cash back of 2%, so it's 2% of $9,000, which is $180. So now we're out, it's gonna still cost us $76.50. But remember, after 12 months, she's gonna to have to start paying 5.9%. So unless she can pay $9,000 off in the credit card in 12 months, she's still gonna have a balance. So here's, what, here's an example. So here's where Velocity Banking comes in. She just freed up, the minute she paid the $9,000 $9, off, she just, paid, she just freed up cash flow of $352. Let me look at my notes really quick and make sure everybody's still on. Okay, I'm still on. So her car loan was $352 a month. We paid it off, so that freed it up. That, that means that she's gonna take this $352 and put it right back on her debt tool, which is this credit card. So after 12 months of paying $352 onto the credit card, if that's all she has, she has no extra cash flow or anything. All she's using is her car loan to pay off her car payment to pay off her credit card. So she'll still owe $4,776 on the credit card after the 0% runs out. Now she has an option. She might be able to transfer that balance to another credit card that's got a 0%. She might be in a different financial. Um, in 12 months, a lot of things can change. I I'll tell you, a lot of things changed for me in 12 months is um, it opened up a whole bunch of different doors that I was able you know, to call them back up and say, hey, I've done really well. You know, I've made more payments than I'm supposed to. I'm making large payments. Can we keep the 0% going for another six months? And you'd be surprised. They're not gonna offer you it, but it does not hurt to help, to ask. So, um, so, she's gonna, so say she doesn't pay off the balance and now she's at 5.9%. I have it down here, yeah. 5.9% until she pays off the balance. So she'll still owe $4,776 at the end of the 12 months, at the end of the 0%. So what she's going to do is she's gonna to have to pay 5.9% until it's paid off. Well, if you add that up, 5.9% times 4,700, that's only $28 a month. So if you take $28, if you take, nine, if you take this amount, the balance, and you divide it, by $352, because that's still what she's paying, the card payment every month. She's not paying the car payment, she's paying the card payment now. It's gonna take her 13.5 months to pay this balance down to zero. But remember, she's also, excuse me, she has to pay the, the interest on it as well. So the interest is $378. So here's what I do, and makes it easier for everybody to kind of understand is, $378 is what's gonna cost her to keep paying on that card for another 12 months to bring this balance down to zero. So it's gonna cost her originally $76.50, and then we're gonna to have to pay the interest on the card unless she, like I said, can miraculously pay off this balance down to zero before the 0% is over. So it's gonna cost her to pay $9,000, it's gonna cost her $454 and 50 cents to pay off a $9,000 payoff on a car and put it on her credit card as Velocity Banking. So here's where I find out, people are like, gosh, it's gonna cost almost $500 to use plastic. that's not worth it. You're just transferring one bill to another bill. Actually, you're not, because I'm gonna show you exactly how much money you just saved, or she's gonna save, by paying off this car loan. Even though it might take her 24 months to pay it off, instead of the 34 months, here's how much she's gonna save. If you look down here, and I'm hoping everybody can see this. Brenda, um, I'm gonna stop really quick. Brenda said that her video stopped. Are we still good to go? Or, I just wanna make sure, if you can give me a thumbs up, you don't have to type anything, even a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> if you're really tired, just put a, a period in there. Kelly, Candace, April, Tanisha, thank you so much. Well, gosh, you guys aren't tired at all. You're able to type all kinds of words in there. Okay, Fred. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. <clears throat> so 
Now we're going to go down to the bottom of the screen here. Okay. So if she was to continue to pay 34 months at $352, this is what she would end up paying over the life of the car loan. Okay. So if you take this amount minus the 9,000, this is how much interest she'd be paying if she paid 34 months of payments. So $2,968. Mind you, I put it right here. Now remember, I told you it's going to cost her $454 to use plastic, the one time plus what the interest charges are in credit cards. Remember, if this payment's lower, say you have a, um, a car loan that only owes like $3,000 and you're at a 0%, you're not going to pay, this is a good, this is going to be zero. You're not going to have any interest on your credit card, but she does after the 12 months. So we add that up. So $454.50. So we minus that from the interest that she would have saved because she's paying it off at 9,000. So she's going to save $2,968 in interest. But then we also have to pay to use plastique. So $2,968 minus $454.50. She saved $2,514 by using plastique, even though they're charging, people are like, oh, 2.85%. That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't even have that much in cash back. Even if she didn't have cash back, let's just say she didn't have cash back, zero, no cash back. She would still be at 256. That's gonna cost the one-time fee and the 378, okay? We're at, oh, let me give me a second here. It would cost her $634 if she had no cash back because some cards don't have cash back. That's okay, $634. Okay, she saved twenty. She saved twenty three hundred dollars instead of twenty five hundred. So people always um, ask me questions like, "Well, I'm not at a zero percent. I don't have cash back," and I totally understand that. But if you still run the numbers, it's still going to save you money. And what can you do? I mean, twenty five hundred dollars in twenty four months. That's that's an extra hundred dollars a month into your budget. So um, so that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to open it up for some questions. Um, if, you, if somebody um, has anything, I'm going to open it up for about maybe two or three minutes. I don't want to keep everybody. I know it's a Tuesday night and all you parents are actually teaching your kids school. So um, thank gosh I'm a grandmother. So um, let me know um, if you have any questions really quick and then we'll go from there. You're welcome, LaCandice. <laughs> hey, Kelly, the reason why I'm so excited about saving money, and I talk to my sister all the time about this, and she's a stay-at-home mom. She's always concerned that her husband has to make all the money, and you know she's just spending money, and sometimes she gets down. Not saying she gets down or anything, but we always talk about like how she can save money and saving money really in a budget is actually making money. It's like a part-time job. If you think about this in 24 months, if you can make a hundred more dollars a month or save it, you're literally making that money because it's not coming out of your income. So a lot of people would say, oh, well, you saved it. No, I made that money because it's still in my checking account or it's still, I'm able to pay off bills more. I'm able to, you know, my, my retirement's going, you know, my, I see my balance going up. So it's always about when I say it's not saving money, it's actually, you are actually making money into your budget. You're bringing cash flow back into your budget. Hey, Chris, you made a really good point. I like what you said there. Um, and I know, I know some people um, are kind of using this program um, and saying, hey, I'll just start a business and you can just, you know, talking to their friends saying, you could just pay me. Um, Plastic is really cracking down on peer-to-peer -peer lending or excuse me, peer-to-peer -peer payments, meaning that it truly has to be a business. It has to be a legal business that you're actually paying with your credit cards. So um, you're absolutely correct there. Um, we want, you know, we want to keep you being able to use this, this, this company to do this type of um, velocity banking or just making your payments. I mean, say you're not using velocity banking and you're paying $1,000 in rent and, um, and you got a $50 late fee, 
and you don't have the money until five more days after your rent is due, this happens all the time. And believe me, in my life, it's happened to me as well. But the thing is, I'd rather pay Plastic with my credit card at the 2.85% and waive the late fee than getting charged a late fee from my property manager. So, Nikki, yes, and like I said, I'm going to, for everybody that's still on here, I'm going to put a link down there. And I'm, if you scroll through the group, um, somebody else already put a link too, and it shows all, all the bills Plastique will actually pay. And then it shows you if they take American Express, Discover, Visa, or MasterCard for that specific type of expense. So I'm going to put that, after we're done with the live, I'm going to put that on there as well as the screenshots. So um, mortgages, student loans, and car loans are all Discover and MasterCard. Your rent, your utility, your tax bill, you can use any card, MasterCard, Discover, Visa, or American Express. Um, and remember, collection agencies, insurance, your utilities, um, tuition fees, um, I'm trying to think, um, club memberships, stuff like that, um, nonprofit donations, um, most of those all take all four cards, but I will put it on there. So make sure you kind of do a little bit of research. Um, I try to do as much as I can for you all, but sometimes we gotta, I don't, I'm not able to do everything um, all in one video, so I will definitely put that down. Does anybody have any questions? Somebody's asking about convenient checks. <clears throat> convenient checks, if you write convenient checks through your credit card, it is not a purchase transaction. When you're using Plastique and you're using your credit card, they run it as a purchase transaction. That's why you're able to get your cash back and your points. A convenience check is like Discover sending me you know, a booklet of checks and when I write a $3,000 check on my Discover, it's not a purchase transaction. That becomes a cash advance. So a convenient check and Plastique is different. So I hope that answered your question. Kelly, yes, please um, send me an email and we'll figure something out. Definitely. I'm going to scroll back through the comments because I think um, I might be missing somebody. So I'm going to scroll back through the comments and I'm going to back off so you guys can see this board just in case you want to make some notes up real quick. <laughs> Okay, I'm back on. I'm going to go ahead and get off this. Sorry, uh, the alarms went off. I will definitely start working on that on our next live. I didn't think I was going to go until 7.06, and I am so, so sorry. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that. So, that's why my alarms went off, is I was like, oh, no, I'm only going to make this 30 minutes. And then I just keep talking. So, so sorry. Live is over. I will definitely take screenshots, and I'll put some links in there. Um... And I will answer any questions I have offline. Everybody have a great night on Tuesday and have a great week. Talk to you later.